from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Shea has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. The demand for testing grows in Tampa. There were long lines across all the sites that reopened today. Thousands of COVID-19 tests administered. The city saying if it continues like this over the next few days, they will have to close down sites early. Meanwhile, Governor Ron DeSantis is working on a plan to get more at home rapid tests and possible changes based on risk levels. School is back in session today in the Tampa Bay area. The district's outlining ways in which parents can keep their kids safe. And that includes isolating at home if feeling sick or regular hand washing and mask wearing. And Hillsborough County asked those who have a positive test to please stay home for 10 days. St. Pete Mayor elect Ken Welch spoke out today after testing positive for COVID just days before he was due to be sworn in. This is the second time Welch has tested positive for COVID. He also had the virus back in September and had mild symptoms. He's fully vaccinated and received his booster shot in November. Welch says COVID will be a big focus of his office and he plans to work with city staff to find new ways to keep residents and visitors safe in St. Petersburg. And now here's meteorologist Shay Ryan with Florida's most accurate forecast. Shay. Looking great out there as we head into the overnight. We are going to see some extra clouds and that acts like a blanket keeps things just a little more comfortable to start the day on Wednesday morning than what we woke up to on Tuesday morning. So uh, with a good amount of sunshine and fair weather clouds and the wind shifting to the south, we are going to see a pretty nice day ahead on Wednesday, but we are also going to notice some slightly higher chances for rain, especially if you're inland and south of I-4. It doesn't look like anything terribly wide spread or heavy, but you could get a brief shower uh, rolling across the area, We're giving us about 10% coverage. Same on Thursday and then on Friday, a frontal system approaches, giving us a slightly higher chance for a few showers in all areas that day. Uh, we have a brief uh, cool down behind it on Saturday morning, but then we warm up to nearly 80 degrees both Saturday and Sunday with higher humidity. That's going to be pretty warm and muggy ahead of our next front that rolls through on Monday, giving us higher coverage of rain and a bigger cool down behind it.